Hello fellow Pokemon fans, the hype for Scarlet and Violet is real and today the Pokemon Company finally released a video addressing that little coin Pokemon that we saw in Pokemon Go just yesterday. They've unveiled its treasure chest form and its roaming form so let's dive into the video that they just put out and take a look at what this Pokemon is going to be all about. We got Dexter, treasure chest, and Professor Willow. You're gonna be talking hey, with Jacques. Jacques. Thanks for sending me that video. I think this might just be the Pokemon I've been hearing so much about. So there's the treasure the chest form. We finally get a great decided. picture of it, and the coin Pokemon say, that we've been seeing in I'm Pokemon Go. Gimme up in your neck of the woods. Gimme Ghoul is the Gimme name of this Ghoul. little Pokemon. So that's what this Pokemon's called. Could the treasure chest it hides in actually be part of its body? It also carries hmm. the same type of coin trainers have been finding. That's right. So this little gimme ghoul likes to collect these coins, that makes sense. And some that don't. Collect some coins, get bound to a chest, maybe? Chests are new to me. The fascinating part is, as far as I know, oh, it's kind of cute. Caught a gimme ghoul that's not in a chest. The second you get near, they hightail it out of there, dropping like the coin it. as they flee. I don't think we've seen them act like that over here. Definitely you know, not. They kind of just hang around. Story about oh, there's a story coins. involving around it. Awesome. We get some lore, some backstory. Here's an old, strange tale involving a mysterious coin. It is a ghost type. Once upon a time, a young girl was out on a walk when she picked up a coin. Clink. There's another, said the girl. Wait, what's that? When the mysterious being noticed the girl, it fled through Don't the Don't go into the cave. Chest. Don't do it. The girl hurriedly chased after it and came upon a treasure chest. But the mysterious being lurked nearby, staring intently at the girl. The treasure chest opened quietly, and whatever was eat her. inside met the girl's gaze. The girl put a coin into the treasure chest. One. She picked up another coin and put it into the chest. Two. Once again, she picked up a coin and put it into the chest. Uh oh. Three. Eventually, the chest came to be full oh. of coins. Oh. That's not good. Oh, don't, don't, no, we're not doing a Korok hunt. No. I'll talk about that later, but no, just no, please. I think I know what's happening here. Huh? What am I doing with all these coins? The girl wondered. Now who or what had been so intent on gathering them? Okay. Very ghost-like behavior. What an intriguing tale. It might help us learn more about this Pokemon. I hope so. It seems to suggest that like people it. hiding in treasure chests don't move on their own. They just manipulate people into gathering coins for them. On the other hand, Gimme Ghoul without treasure chests don't seem to manipulate people. Okay. Perhaps they're able to go searching on their own. It's very odd for Pokemon of the same species to behave so differently, don't you think? So we're going to have two Since different forms so different in the same game. Maybe we ought to consider them separate forms. What do you think? Should we name them? Good idea. Let's see. Chest form? Seems straightforward. The one that hides in chess. <laughs> That's very straightforward. Oh, uh, yep. Well, it agrees. Walks around. How about roaming form? Roaming form <laughs> makes sense. I like it. So you've never heard of anyone catching a roaming I bet our Pokemon Go task is going to be to catch this thing now. But out where you are, they don't run away? You said they just tag along near people who picked up coins. Right. If trainers out here use that behavior to their advantage, they might be able to catch it. What an exciting research opportunity. Is there anything else you can tell me about Gimme Ghoul? I'd be happy to tell you everything I know, and I'll do what I can to help you catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul. Oh, roaming Thank form, you. we're gonna catch I'm it. Sure yep. trainers will also appreciate your help. Now, about those coins. Uh, whoops. There's the bell. Time for class. Sorry, <laughs> professor. Gotta run. When you're a blossoming you Pokemon go? professor, but you've oh, got I to go to class. 
always dancing to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> I ought to send him a thank you gift for his help with Gimme Ghoul. Okay. Maybe a nice postcard. Gimme Ghoul, looking kind of cool. Loving the different forms. I think the roaming form's pretty cute. I like the treasure chest form. I got a theory running about this already. Linking in 2023. They are already planning Pokemon Go content. I love it. That's awesome. Game footage in this video is not final. Of course it's not. Alright, so back to this story here. There's a line that stood out in here. Right about here, I think. And whatever was inside met the girl's gaze. All right, so she picks up a coin. She follows the little roaming form back to the form with the treasure chest. And she looks at the treasure chest and meets the Pokemon's gaze. I think at this point we can say, I think at this point we can safely say that she was possessed. And she was compelled by this ghost type Pokemon to go out and find all of these coins to fill it herself. So that leads me to the Korok seeds from the Breath of the Wild game. You had to find a very large quantity. Later on in the story, she gets to 999. Now, I am hoping that there are not 999 of these coins scattered across the Paldea region that we have to go and collect in order to fill this chest up or to satisfy the roaming form to turn it into the chest form. Please, Pokemon Company, don't do that to us. It's going to be excruciatingly annoying. The 108 Wisps for Spiritomb, that's acceptable. 32 Encounters into Underground, okay, we can do that. 999 coins, don't you freaking dare, Nintendo. Come on, nobody wants to do that. That little rant out of the way, I do love this Pokemon, and I hope that there is a similar mechanic for that. It would only make sense to go and collect and gather coins to amass a treasure trove to have this Pokemon transform into the treasure chest form. That being said, just don't do 999, please. There is another video that Nintendo and the Pokemon Company did release today, a shorter version of this, so let's go ahead and take a look at that one as well. All right, here's the second little mini video. Got some Pyroar and Litleo. Makes sense since the regions are connecting. The treasure chest form sitting right there. He's so happy for little dead ghosty boy. Type, chest form, ghost type. Doing a little move on Sableye. He's, he's just so happy. Him and Meowth should make great friends. Why are they attacking each other? I mean, maybe Meowth's trying to avoid getting its coin taken. And there's the little roaming form. Okay, just a little cutesy video showcasing it. Now, of course, we do have to go to Pokemon website for Scarlet and Violet and check that out, see if Gimme Ghoul's been added. All right, and there is Gimme Ghoul on the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon website. Let's go ahead and click on that. It is the coin chest Pokemon. It is ghost type. It is one foot tall, 11 pounds, and it has the ability rattled. That makes a lot of sense. That's, that's awesome. All right, let's see what it says. It hides in a treasure chest and moves slowly. These gimme ghoul hide inside sturdy treasure chests. While this provides them with a solid defense, the treasure chest's weight causes gimme ghoul to move slowly, making travel difficult. It is not uncommon for chest form Gibby Ghoul to be mistaken for an antique and taken home or sold to an antique store. Gimme Ghoul controls people and Pokemon, making them collect coins. Sounds like Meowth would be a great candidate for this. When Gibby Ghoul senses a person or Pokemon draw near, it ambushes them. It then uses ghost energy to control its target, forcing them to collect coins. Kind of like what I was saying earlier in the other video. 
Because it often hides in warehouses, shop corners, and other places people and Pokemon don't frequent, it tends to keep persistent control over those it does manage to encounter. Okay, so at least it's not like encountering a bunch of people. Gimme Ghoul's roaming form! It seems that Gimme Ghoul has a second form called Roaming Form Gimme Ghoul. This kind of Gimme Ghoul doesn't hide in a treasure chest. It is small, carries a small coin on its back, and can be found hiding all over Paldea. However, since they run away as soon as a person approaches, it seems not a single trainer in Paldea has managed to catch one. Surprisingly, Roaming Form Gimme Ghoul have been spotted in the world of Pokemon Go as well. We saw that yesterday. It appears that Mr. Jacques, an expert on the biology of Pokemon in the Paldea region, and Professor Willow, who has been carrying out research alongside trainers in the world of Pokemon Go, have joined forces to devise a way to catch them. Please wait for future announcements to hear all about their research results. So we're going to have some Pokemon Co. content leading up to the release of Scarlet and Violet. I like this Pokemon, it will probably end up on my team. So far I haven't really seen a single Pokemon that has been showcased that I haven't really enjoyed. However, some of them I would not include on my team. But Gimme Ghoul, I do like ghost types, I like poison types. So this, this region seems to be for me with with typing. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I am glad that I was finally able to cover some content in the morning before a lot of other people are able to. It means a lot. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch. I will catch you in another video.